Ora, bons dias toda a gente. Hoje estamos aqui com gente dura. Gosta da ordem dura, sério. E vamos fazer o percurso, se não me engano, da Valon Extreme de 2021, que foi feita em 2022, aquela cena. E também é a primeira vez que estou aqui a fazer a Ardem Duro com o Smart Car. Sonja como é que se comporta? Ah. Não é super? Yeah. Diz olá para a câmara. Como é que é? So guys, first time using the smart car. I didn't plan to use this video as a test for the smart car, but to be honest, after trying it out for the very first time, I clearly noted that this video would be perfect to show what I felt about the smart car. It was a perfect day for Hard Enduro. I had a gummy tire, soft mousse, just for it, so I didn't have any excuses and I could really test the Smart Carp for the true hard enduro Portuguese style. <laughs> so riverbeds until the eye can see. The first thing that I clearly noticed the bike, about the bike, and you clearly can you can hear it on this video, which is how crisp and clean the bike runs, even if I'm barely twisting any throttle. It was the first thing that, that I felt. If I would do these kinds of riverbeds and creeks, usually the car would start like not clogging up, but slurping, you know, that uh, that feeling that you have, that you have to give a little bit of gas to, to clean it up. And I didn't felt any need to do it. And to be honest, it's, it's amazing how confident you get when you know that the bike is running as it should. Funny enough, on this little moment where I actually tipped the bike, I was like, oh no, I'm gonna start spilling some fuel. And then I thought and remembered, oh no, I'm, I have a smart car, but it doesn't have any fuel spillage. I was like, damn yeah. <laughs> This creek seem really nasty, uh, but they are actually a little bit easier than they look, uh, at least for our point of view or for our reference. Uh, we have some really, really nasty creeks around and one of them is going to be up ahead. Another thing that I noticed was how easy the bike starts with a smart car. Posso ir mesmo para cima do escape? Não, não foi. Menos mal. Again, another moment where I thought I just spilled so much fuel, but I didn't. <laughs> Which is wonderful, truly. It's truly wonderful that part. The biggest thing that I can tell you right off the bat that I felt is how predictable the throttle response is. It's truly predictable. It's Sometimes I can't even put it into words of how predictable and linear. Maybe the word that people usually use is linear, but I think the, the most suited word for it is predictable. You feel, you, you perfectly feel the, the, the limits 
-hmm. of when the bike is actually going to stall or not, or when should you push that a little bit much to get that lugability, uh, and it really helps you. Oh, is that come as wises? Dick, yeah, not. Bastante, tipo, bastante. O significativo para tu sentires, tipo. É. Yeah. Em que estás à espera que aquele se cala e aquele. Oh. At this exact point, I thought, I'm going to do the next climb, taking the lugging to the extreme and see how, how, how it handles. Going up a hill with a lot of rubble, with a lot of uh, loose rocks and, and dirt. And I'm going to try to take this bottom end to, to, to the edge. And what I felt was something that I've never felt on a car bike or even on a TPI, which is you're lugging and you're twisting the throttle. And when you feel that the bike is going to stall, you twist the throttle and the front end just lifts. It's ridiculous. I, I've never felt that. It's You have such a controllable bottom end that really changes ga the game for, for hard and at least. So now we're getting into the really, really nasty stuff. Every bit that you see that it's even the, the slightly damped or wet is slick as hell. And again, you're gonna see the bike just lugging so easily. This is as slippery, as slippery as it gets, and the bike just goes. can be smart carb equipped, but the skills don't come with it, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> Eu sei, eu sei, eu vou por aí. Ter uma segundinha certinha. E o. Tens de fazer com a boca, primeiro. Mas imagina só. Se não simulares antes, não conta.
And in here you can see my indecision of where to go because I knew that going through this part, I knew that I had the bottom end to go and try it. And, and I did. It actually opened up some possibilities of how to approach some some obstacles, some lines, because I know that the bottom end will, will be there. So now, going into that wet bit in front, that's worse than stepping on, on oil uh, over glass. It's absolutely ridiculous how slippery it is. I was at, at a certain point where I was even scared of stepping my foot on the ground because of how slippery it was. But now... This is lugging. This right here is lugging. And I was blown away. Right on that spot, I was completely blown away of how low you can take the bottom end. And yeah, it was a true testament. So overall, I have to give it to, to Smart Carp. The, it does a huge difference, especially if you're doing hard end roll. It does improve the bottom end quite substantially. Not that it has some over the moon bottom end, but it gives you some really controllable bottom end. It's not specifically the amount or the gain that you have, it's more the way that you have it. I still have to check about the mileage and how it is regarding the more mid and top and power. But to be honest, I'm not very interested uh, in that specifically because the Beta, for example, has already too much power, more power than I know what to do with it. So I don't think that's ever going to be a problem. But at least for the hard Guru context, this is a game changer. Let me know what you think, ask away and I hope it was enlightening or at least gave you another perspective of uh, what it is to have a smart car. Cheers.